Avanil Kumar and we'll explore factorials in this particular video. The question here is solve algebraically n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 3 factorial equal to 30. Right? That means we need to find value of n. So basically it means find n. Now if I have n minus 1 factorial and n minus 3 factorial n has to be greater than equal to 3, right? So from here, we can write our condition that n should be greater than equal to 3, right? Otherwise, uh, the factorial is always of a positive number, right? 0 factorial, as you know, is 1, okay? Now, let's try to solve it. So what we are given here is n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 3 factorial equals to 30. n minus 1 factorial can be written as n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 and so on. So at this stage we can write this as n minus 3 factorial divided by n minus 3 factorial. Is it okay? Equals to 30. Now, n minus 3 factorial, n minus 3 factorial cancels. So we get n minus 1 times n minus 2 equals to 30. You can expand this. You get n squared minus 2n minus n plus 2 equals to 30. Is it okay? Now, that is a quadratic equation. So we can combine the terms n square minus 2n minus n is minus 3n. We get n square minus 3n plus 2 minus 30 equal to 0, which is n square minus 3n minus 28 equal to 0. Now we can factor this. 7 times 4 is 28. We need negative 3n. So we can write this as n minus 7 times n plus 4, correct? So that is how we can factor this. We are looking for product of 28, right? Product of 28 and sum of, we should write product and sum of minus 3. So the numbers are minus 7 and 4. Now that gives us two solutions. One is n equals to 7. The other one is n equals to minus 4. And as n should be greater than 3, n equals to 7 is a valid answer. This is not valid. So the answer is n equals to 7, right? So that is how you can solve such questions. I am Anil Kumar. You can of course like my videos, share them and feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.